All right. Thanks for hanging out, folks. I appreciate you waiting. It's about two minutes. I'm going to lay some life wisdom on folks here. You think you love someone, you know, when you're in high school and you're dating someone for the first time. You think you love someone when you have sex with someone for the first time. You think you really love someone when you get married. But you don't actually know what love is until you literally wipe the crap off the butt of another human being. Because you wouldn't do that if you didn't love them, because it's gross. Parenting is gross. Keep that in mind. Hopefully they just ban both of them, you know? Looks like most of the people hung out for my two-minute break. Y'all are the best. Absolute best. Thoughts on... Thoughts on adding... BRB. <laughs> No, Vorpral, you're one of our awesome subs. And my second <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. Kids are great, and, uh, you know, overall, they're, they're a net life positive, but there's some things that are just gross. MJ89325 uh, with the sub. Welcome a new hooligan to Hoogland. Sub hype, welcome. Yeah, I think a sub-hype emote. Thinking, what can it be? Maybe the emote with the kids could just be a sub-hype emote. Advocate combining those two things. Yeah, I mean, it works out well. Uh, this hand's very good. Keep. And we're on the play, too. This hand's super powerful. Alright, let's get it going. Steam Vents, Shambling Vents, Mirror. I think most of the Shambling Vents, Mirrors favor this deck. Hopefully he plays Advocate or something on two. If Hooligans are not incorporated somehow, you're not wrong. <laughs> Man... I really hope that the sealed leagues encourage the people at Magic Online or like the higher ups to see just how much money this client is capable of making. They had what like three thousand people join twenty eight dollars a pop like that, and how many of them like rejoined as soon as they burned through five matches? Like just like buku bucks that they've just like left sitting on the table for forever and ever and ever. Please, Hasbro, if you are watching, give the people that make Magic Online all of the money they request. They literally print money for you with this application. Let them make it better. What do you think the deck's worst matchup is probably is? Um, Red Black Dragons felt hard the last time I played it, but I also... Um, I'm just double-bottoming these. We, we're really just looking for threats at this point. And we hit a threat. Look at that. Sounds great. Um, Sylvan Advocate... And honestly, I think that's part of the problem. I think that a lot of the people at Hasbro see how much money that Magic Online already makes and they go, what do you mean the money printing machine is broken? We need to fix the machine that prints us money? No, that, that can't possibly be correct. The, the machine prints money. It's working. Don't, don't touch the money printing machine. Like, I feel like, like that's how a conversation has gone, has gone at Watch the HQ at a certain point. So this is a Siege Rhino, which is annoying, so we can't play Gideon. Oh, if this card killed Siege Rhino, let me tell you. Let me tell you a story about that card killing Siege Rhino. It would be so good. A 
got up and logged into Twitch just to say amazing to watch. Thank you, B-Skull. I really appreciate that. This is good for us. So if he doesn't have a follow-up here, we get to go ahead. Yeah, and he doesn't. So we get to grasp this and then uh, play Gideon and make a 2-2 here. <sighs> Secure is gross. I think I'd rather just get Gideon onto the table here. Yeah, I think Gideon, getting Gideon out here. The upside to getting Gideon out here is if he has uh, Goblin Dark Dwellers in his hand, he can uh, Dark Dwellers transgress Gideon, but he can't Dark Dwellers transgress Secure. Howdy, Poly... Pygamolian Jones. Okay, 6645 Advocate. Don't have a... Oh, he's probably firing up Shambling Vent here and then cracking in. Okay, yeah, so we're going to have to chump with the Night Ally, and then we're going to need to dig with Read the Bones for a removal spell here. I guess we could also we could also just secure for a bunch. Thoughts on adding Abzan to the current Hardened Scales deck to beef some up and removal? I'm not sure. I haven't spent enough time testing the Hardened Scales deck to really have, uh, you know, a worthwhile opinion on that, I think. So what can I do here? I can Gideon Emblem and then secure for a million. Yeah, that seems great. Secure for five, and then we can untap and Soren and plus. That sounds hot, right? We could even untap, read the bones into Soren plus. Okay, I think I'm on board for that. I might even, if he fires up here, Needle Spires actually hits for a metric, a metric load here. Pymolian Jones with a brand new sub. Welcome to the stream, and thank you for the support of my magic content creation. The problem is that this stupid Sylvan Advocate is vigilant. Needle Spires hits for 8 right now. Yeah, it's a 4-3 double strike, actually. So I think if he ships with the Spire and the Advocate... He's just attacking with Advocate, huh? I think I'm going to dogpile the Advocate here. Because it makes all of his man lands way too good. I think I'm willing to trade two tokens for an Advocate here. So I don't think he can have one card that blows out this 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 five-way block. We'll see what he has as a follow-up here. Some of these decks have been main decking sweepers, so if he has a sweeper, that's a little annoying, but then we have Reed and Soren to like just his man lands. And our man lands bigger than his, so. Oh jeez, we drew another Soren. Alright, well we're gonna start with Reed and the Bones. Murderous cut we can cast, that sounds great. So, we're unlucky, we bricked off on a land, but uh, we found Murderous Cut, so we got that going for us. Um, what, what do I want to do here? Do I want to attack with all of these? Can he activate two man lands? He can't, right? Yeah, so I'm going to ship with these guys, and then we'll Murderous Cut whatever man land he tries to block with. More like Greed the Bones. Yeah, and I even kept one of them. Like, if I really wanted to hit a land, I could have double bottom, but I think Murderous Cut's really good here. Pig male eon. Is that the phonetic pronunciation? The fork? Yeah. yeah, he's fine. So we're going to murder us, cut this guy. And maybe our opponent's at a high enough life total that I'm not supposed to be this aggressive, but I feel like these Sorens and this other Secure are going to close out the game really quickly. Crackling Doom, sure. So he, he traded a Crackling Doom for a token. Deal. Poorly. Yeah, you don't, uh, don't want to watch me try and pronounce things. Or spell them. Yeah, God bless God bless spell checker. If he's firing up here and attacking with needle spires, he's gonna have a real bad time when we when we play Sora next turn and crack him for back for six. Oath of Gideon was just a lot worse than all of the other cards I could possibly be playing in the deck. Every time I played I played Oath of Gideon, I was like, man, this was way worse than the Secure the Waste I just cut for this card, or man, this was way worse than this other card I just cut for this card. 
Uh, we haven't started the noodle project yet. Silk wrap. All right. So we're going to play Soren and plus because it, neither of his manlands can kill the Soren. So this is a this is a 12 point life swing here. That's why that's why Soren one of the one of the other changes people often make to this deck when they play it is they automatically cut the second Soren for a fourth Gideon, and I think that's really wrong because Soren gets you out of a lot of situations that no other card in the format including Gideon gets you out of. Both Gideon and Soren suck when you're behind, but Soren can put you ahead and it wins races better than any other card in the deck. Radiant Flames. Okay, so that was maybe his best draw. Thankfully, we have this backup secure the waste. And we drew a land. Ah, we're so lucky. It's possible I'm supposed to make a vampire there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I guess the vampire would have been a 3-3. Three, three. He wants you. Oh, hi, D-Money. Who's a happy D-Money? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, he's heavy. Oh, he's a giant sack. Ow. Oh, giant sack of money. Don't ask me why we call him D-Money. That's just what I call him. You're precious, D-Money. Yes, you are. And we have, a, we have a Gideon emblem here, so they, we're going to make, like, what is this? This is X is 6. We're going to make 18 power worth of creatures with this thing here. This is my youngest. This is Declan. He's about 10 months old. He's got a little bit of a cold right now, so you'll hear some sniffles, but... This is why we're playing for Secure the Waste, by the way. And it's arguably one of the reasons why this deck is so powerful. No, it's definitely the reason why this deck is so powerful. This card's so good. It's no Elspeth Sun's Champion. But, uh, it's pretty, it's a close second in this deck. Dead. Mardu Green's a pretty good matchup for this deck. So what do I want to do against Mardu Green? Um, I like Dark Petition. I like Tainted Remedy. And I generally like the Duresses. I don't like Seeker of the Way. And I guess I'll only bring in one Duress. Why such an angry baby? Ah. So... Seeker of the Way I like to cut against all the decks that could have uh, Fiery Impulses and uh, and uh, cu Culligan's Commands. Could you give him a Dipe Change? I think that's why he's upset. I just changed a Poop Diaper for Jake, so... I'm so tired of... Actually, you could probably pull him out. It's like 60 degrees. It's it's almost 70 degrees. It's 68 degrees upstairs. The problem with Kalidus is that they don't board out their Crackling Dooms against us. And I just... I never want Crackling Doom to kill an actual creature. Never, ever, ever, ever. Tainted Remedy is in the sideboard because it's good against Rally. It also gets to come in against decks that play Siege Rhino and Shambling Vents because y y people, again, if you've heard me say this, apologies for repeating myself like a broken record, all of the mid-range games in Standard come down to two things. One, they all go long so everyone floods out, so the person with more utility lands usually wins, which is generally us because we have six utility lands in our deck. Um, two, um... The other thing that things come down to in Standard is that the life totals are important because the games are going so long. You're both slogging back and forth, you're trading in combat, you're hitting each other and using your life total as a resource. So Tainted Remedy tells your opponent, you can't use your life total as a resource anymore. The Basically this says the 20 points of life you get to start, that's it. That's all you get. Good luck. It makes Shambling Vent, this makes Shambling Vent have no text. Because they can't attack.